Hey, my beautiful people. <laughs> it's Chloe Styles. And I'm back with another video. For those of you who don't know me um, and would like to get to know me, just subscribe to my channel. And um, I try to post at least like three videos a month about random things actually um sometimes i do reviews um sometimes i talk about things that are trending um sometimes i post tutorials because i'm a hairstylist and i'm also um, a healthcare benefit specialist so being that it is annual enrollment right now i do want to post a video about um different like plans and how to kind of understand which plan is better for you so look out for that video if you are interested anyway i have a lot on my mind as far as when it comes to dating i will be 32 on the 27th this month shout out to all my sagittarius's <laughs> but um it's rough. Dating is really rough, um, especially having a 15-year-old daughter. Um, I can't just pick anyone, you know. I can't. I have to be really careful on who I date. I did make some, some, I mean, my ex-boyfriends aren't like the worst guys in the world, but obviously it didn't work out, and my daughter sees that. You know, so I have to really be careful because I don't want to be that mom where God is running in and out of our lives. That's not good. You know, I'm responsible on um, helping her become the best woman that she can, you know, and have some respect for herself and for me because I don't want her to think that I'm that I don't respect myself, you know, and that I'm just picking any type of man. And you have to really be careful on what type of man you bring in your house, especially when you have a daughter, when you have kids, period, you know. But it's like I'm just trying to figure out why is it so hard to, like, find a consistent man who's honest, who's transparent, hardworking, you know, I'm sure he's out there, but I can't find him. <laughs> and I'm honestly, I do not want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I really do want to find my future husband in, in Pittsburgh. The dating pool is very, 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 very slim because either he's my family or um, he has a girlfriend that he's been dealing with for a long time. You know, Pittsburgh is kind of small. So when you're in a small city, most people have been dating for a while. You know, they have their person that they belong to, you know since high school type of situation you know I had mine but we kind of like outgrew each other in a way he's still kind of like in the streets and kind of messy and I'm very mature um and I kind of like try to plan for the future you know <sighs> and um so my last situation I was talking to a guy, and he kind of got it going on for himself. He went to college. You know, he has one son. Um, he drives a nice car. But he's only been out of a relationship for maybe, like, seven months. And that's not really long enough for me, especially if, when it's the mother of the son, the mother of the child. That's not long enough for me. So we went out on a date, and it was nice. We had fun. We laughed, and he wasn't trying to get me too drunk or anything like that. 
So he ended up taking me home. And then, like, once I got home, he texted me, like, I really want to come back and get you so you can stay with me. And I'm like, here we go. So I just kind of brushed it off and was like, oh, you know, I would love to, but I do got work in the morning. I didn't want to pop off. I'm like, oh, what? You want to fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I really wanted to say, but. So, like, maybe two days later, he asked me again, like, you want to come over? And I'm like, for dot, dot, dot. He was like, you know, just to cuddle and watch TV. First of all, I'm a thick girl, you know? You can't cuddle with me and fill up on my soft body and think that, you know, you're not about to get hard or, you know, think something's about to go down. I'm not, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not just going to give myself up just because you bought a couple drinks and some food. I mean, come on. And it just seems like that's basically what men want. I mean, come on. I want to be, I want to cuddle, you know, but let's be realistic here. You know what I'm saying? That was a little bit too soon after our date. And that kind of just turned me off. And he kind of just kept asking me that to come over without even having a second date, without, like, I'm that type of girl, I like flowers, I'm corny, I like corny stuff, you know, and we didn't even get to that point, and I just, I just fell back, so, and it just seems like, you know, I'll take myself out, sometimes I'll take myself to, like, a nice restaurant, and, um, and there will be a guy, you know, who, who want to exchange numbers or whatever. But next thing you know, he's asking, can he come over? And I'm like, come over? I have a child. My daughter is not about to walk out in her house, in her own home, and see a stranger. Like, what? Me and my daughter is really, really close. So we have conversations. You know, I kind of share. I don't, you know, share too much with her, of course, because she's not grown. She's 15. She's old enough to, you know, have some sort of understanding. And I also have to start sharing some things with her so that she can understand how it is um, to date, you know, and how to carry herself when it comes to guys. Because, I mean, she's getting close to that age, you know, where it's time to start dating. So it's just really, really hard for me, especially that I have respect for myself, you know. I do want that physical touch. I do want that quality time. But I want to be the one to kind of come on to the guy. I don't want him to make it so obvious that he just wants sex, you know? And I'm just so over it. I don't know what's up with these guys nowadays. It's so disappointing. So, so, so disappointing. Because just that, that male aura, that male presence is so important, is so powerful. You know, only if they knew how us women felt when we we're around that 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 masculine love, you know. And I just like kinda I really, really want it. But I'm not gonna settle. So I'm like, do I need to like start traveling or what? What do I need to do? Because I do not want to be a shriveled up, dried up prune. <sighs> I do have, and it's like, I even start thinking like, okay, I even start considering polygamy. And I don't know if I'm considering that because of... I don't know if I'm settling in, in in a way or if I actually believe or if I actually can deal with a sister wife. If I actually can deal with a man 
splitting his attention and time and love with with another woman. I've never really been that type. Uh, I've never really been jealous. Um, I've been cheated on, but I never really reacted in a way where I was like super, super emotional. Like the last boyfriend that I had, it was like pff, 10 years ago or something like that. We were together for about two or three years and he was really good to me. And then I ended up getting an apartment. We ended up still living together and he started getting a little bit distant. And he ended up telling me that some white girl that he went to school with, they ended up seeing each other out and they linked up and he got her pregnant. And my response was, so what do you want to do? And he was like, well, she thought that she couldn't have kids, so I guess she's going to keep it. And I was like, well, I do understand that. And, um, I mean, I'm here for you, you know, whatever you decide to do, you know, but, um, I want to get checked. Like, I want to make sure that you don't have anything. So, I mean, we was together for maybe about two months after that and him and her, they're still together now. They just got married like maybe a month ago. <laughs> so... I mean, I don't know. I think it's also important for women to heal themselves before they get into a situation. And I feel like it kind of been long enough. Um, it's been long enough. I feel like I have healed myself from my past relationships. And I'm kind of ready. But I just don't, I feel, I know that if I even get in, um, if I get triggered or if I see like some signs from my old relationships, I might snap. Not like no, you know, no violent type of shit, but I might really feel straight disrespected and it might not even be that serious, you know, but right now my time is so precious. I feel like I'm getting older and I really don't have time for the games. And I really don't want to lose my faith in mankind. So. I'm just sending out my energy. I'm sending out. You know. My my wave. My. My, <laughs> my aura. And hopefully. You know. God brings the right one to me. And my daughter, because he has to be stepfather figure. No one is perfect, and I do understand that. But he needs to be perfect for me, you know. So, I can't wait to find you, future hubby. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. But yeah, so, all I can do is just focus on my bag. And um, and just kind of focus on healthy sister relationships because I do feel like that's one reason, too, why I consider polygamy because I feel like sisterhood is extremely important when it comes to healthy relationships, when it comes to women. So say like um, a woman who don't have any friends who really don't have any family, she is like prey to predators. Versus, on the other hand, a woman who's surrounded by friends and family, they're going to be like, uh-uh, you know, you can't, you can't have her. You're not, you're no good. Goodbye, you know. <laughs> they wouldn't be with it. I would be protected. So right now, I'm just working on sisterhood. Because my female friendships have not been working out. A lot of them have been kind of intimidated by me. And I can't be friends with anyone that's intimidated by me. Because real alpha women do not want that spotlight. They do not want it to be obvious that they are a threat. 
and I do not want it to be obvious. So I want to be friends with other women who's just as confident, who's just as loving, and who is not threatened by other women, you know? So, yeah. I'm going to just continue to work work on me and continue to be the great mother that I am. And like I said, I hope that I find the right one because I'm ready. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, y'all. I had that on my mind and I wanted to share it with y'all. If you can relate, comment down below. Let me know how you feel. And I'm going to bed. Good night. Peace, love, and light. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up this video. And I'll talk to you later. Peace.